Hello, in this video I'm gonna teach you how to install uh, CompuServe 3D on your Mac operating system. So first thing that we do is we go to our website CompuServe3D.org and from the left hand panel we uh, click binaries. This brings us to our binaries web page. We check that the latest version is 4.2.1. We scroll down and we find uh, binaries for Mac operating system. So this is this link. I'm gonna click it and this will take us to SourceForge. So now instead of actually installing the 4.2.1 version, I'm gonna install a release candidate because it has many features that I find useful and you will find it useful too. So I'm going to the home directory of our uh, binaries repository. I'm gonna click 4.2.2 release candidate I'm gonna choose Mac folder, and here, because I have one of the most recent operating Mac operating systems, I'm going to choose OS X-10.14 plus. And from here, I'm gonna click DNG file. So this is the, the binary installer. And this takes me to um, download page. So, I'm gonna store the binary in this um, in this folder, uh, in the downloads folder, and, and it takes a few minutes. Uh, so you can we, we can wait, but of course I have already uh, print uh, pre downloaded the, the binary. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you how the installation proceeds. So once this download finishes, it takes. I don't know, five, ten minutes, whatever, depending on your internet connection. In my case, um, it wasn't so bad. It downloaded after two minutes, but I have this already on my hard drive, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and show you the installation. So this is what you're going to do. You're gonna click uh, CC3D 4.2.20 DMG file, and this uh, the dialog will open up. Uh, so at this stage, uh, Essentially, Apple is verifying the integrity of the package. All the packages are signed to make sure there is no uh, no mal malware uh, installed. So everything that, that we are distributing on Mac OS X, on Mac operating system, actually is uh, is Apple certified. So this step takes a little bit uh, to complete. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back in a second. Oh, actually, I don't have to pause. It looks like we are ready to go. So it's really as simple as essentially dragging the CC3D 4.2.2 application into the applications folder. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select it, drag it to applications folder, and there we go. So I'll make sure that I did this actually. Yep, there we go. So it's um, essentially uh, verifying the packages. And I have already uh, a version that I installed before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say replace this. So that the previous um, previous version of Compuso 3D 4.2.2 that's already on my disk will be replaced with this new package, just for illustration purposes. And again, this this takes a uh, few minutes. There are lots of files here. The reason why the package is so big is because uh, we are shipping entire uh, Python distribution, and that's what takes most of the um, of the disk space, not so much Compuso 3D. So again, I'm going to pause the video just to save some time and, and we'll restart after, um, after the copy, file copy is complete. Alright, so at this point the installation is complete and we can actually run CompuCell 3D. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So I typically run CompuCell uh, from, directly from terminal. So um, let me actually open new terminal. So I'm going, because we installed CompuCell into slash applications, I'm going to change directory to slash applications. So I'm going to type cd slash 
applications. I'm going to autocomplete using tab. Then I'm going to go to cc3d underscore 4.2.2 folder. And from here, I'm just going to issue a Compucel 3D command like that. So slash dot slash Compucel 3D dot command. And Compucel app should open. There we go. And that's it for this video. I'm going to see you in, uh, in the next video.